Welcome everyone to 6.8 Indeterminate Forms and L'Hopital's Rule. Now L'Hopital's Rule is a big and powerful theorem that'll help us conquer lots of types of limit questions, uh, but it doesn't always apply. So we have to figure out when can we actually apply L'Hopital's Rule. Uh, so that is where this idea of indeterminate forms comes in useful. So we'll look at uh, indeterminate forms figure out the different types of these things, and then we're going to understand uh, and apply L'Hopital's rule. So let's get to it. All right, so the first thing we have is a definition here, and we need a limit of the form, and this is going to be your standard limit, the limit as x approaches a of f of x over g of x. And this is where f of x and g of x both approach zero as x approaches a. So then the limit may or may not exist, and it's called an indeterminate form of type 0 over 0. Okay, and this kind of makes sense because f's going to 0, g's going to 0, so it looks like, you know, 0 over 0. Okay, now another indeterminate form is one where we have the same sort of setup. We have the limit as x approaches a of f of x over g of x, but now f of x and g of x are both approaching positive or negative infinity as x approaches a. Then again, the limit may or may not exist, and this is called an indeterminate form of type infinity over infinity. And again, this kind of makes sense because f and g are both heading towards infinity. Okay, so L'Hopital's rule will apply to these two situations up here. So we need to have f and g are differentiable, g prime of x is not equal to zero, and we have the setup up above. So we have limits as x goes to a of, and either f of x goes to zero and g of x goes to zero, or f of x needs to go to positive or negative infinity, and g of x needs to go towards positive or negative infinity. So again, we have one of the two indeterminate forms up above. Now, if we have all this, the claim is we get L'Hopital's rule. And L'Hopital's rule says that the limit that we have here, this limit is the same as the limit as x approaches a of f prime of x divided by g prime of x. Oops, sorry, <laughs> wrote f prime. g prime of x. So that you can kind of just take the derivatives of the top and the bottom, and amazingly, this heads towards the same thing. Like I said, this is a big and powerful theorem. All right. So let's go ahead and try it out here on an example. So I use L'Hopital's rule to calculate out this limit. So we see that as x goes to infinity, we actually have both the numerator and the denominator go to infinity. So this is an indeterminate of form infinity over infinity. So therefore, by L'Hopital's rule, this is the same thing as the limit as x goes to infinity of, and now the derivative of the natural log is going to be 1 over x and the derivative of the square root of x is this 1 half x to the negative 1 half. Now we have algebra time, right? So we need to simplify this. We know that dividing by 1 half is going to be the same thing as multiplying by 2. And then with properties of exponents, this is going to be x to the negative 1, and then minus, because it's in the denominator, a negative 1 half. So really, we could think about this instead of minus a negative, this is the same thing as adding. So negative 1 plus 1 half is going to be, well, x to the negative 1 half. All right, again, just algebra here, so we can rewrite this. Limit as x goes to infinity of 2 over root x. So this is going to head towards 0. Right? So as x gets very, very large, this is going to get very, very small. Okay, so this is how we can apply L'Hopital's rule. But the claim is that there are many more indeterminates out there. Oops, battery's a little bit low. That's fine. So some of the additional indeterminates out there are types of the form. And so the first one could be like 0 times infinity. I'd have no idea what this heads towards. If it heads towards 0 or infinity or 1 or 5 or what. Another one's going to be infinity minus infinity. Again, I don't know which infinity is bigger in some sense. I have no idea what this is going to head towards. Another one would be 0 to the 0 power. We have infinity to the 0 power. 
And then the last indeterminate, the thing that we have no idea what it'll approach, will be 1 to the infinity power. So the claim is we will be able to utilize L'Hopital's rule in each one of these cases, but it takes a little bit of work. Let's go over one more calculus 1 theorem before we finish up. So the claim is if f is continuous, then we have a nice property of limits. So we have this composition, and the claim is, again, if f is continuous, we can push that limit to the inside. So this is the old calculus 1 theorem. Uh, but we'll see here in the next video how this is especially applicable. All right, and with that, we have all of our definitions and theorems. We've gone over what are the different types of indeterminate forms. And the last thing is, well, we should spend a good amount of time uh, going over uh, how to apply L'Hopital's rule in a bunch of types of situations. So that'll be video two. In the meantime, take a break, stretch your legs, and I'll see you back here soon.